Boom! Live and direct. He's back. Finding intrinsic value, meaning finding a meaningful connection in something makes it personally motivating, which is very different from how most of us have been taught to think of motivation. Utilitarian value. Utilitarian value has always been the realm of economists who believe, for example, that we purchase items because we know we'll get use out of them and that the price we would pay for such an item colorates directly to how much use we expect to get out of it. And our focus on high performance, this value is often felt when you know that taking on a new challenge will result in a direct benefit to what you are doing. For example, if learning to code a web page would help you be more efficient at your work and get you a raise, then there is utilitarian value in learning to do so. So what would be useful for you to learn in the next 12 months? Good question. Opportunity cost. Participating in any endeavor costs time, energy, effort, resources and willpower that could have gone in something else. We need to be aware of this reality, as most of us make unconscious decisions based on fear that we'll lose something altogether if we focus on something else. So ask yourself, what new skill have I wanted to learn but fool myself into not learning by focusing on some imagined opportunity cuts that may not be true? Delay time. Human beings are horrible when it comes to delayed gratification. And the longer we have to wait, the less our motivation to learn and try. What have you been delaying learning now because you don't think you'll get an immediate payoff? How far along in the process would you be now if you had gone for it the first time you thought about it? Personal control agency. Personal agency is a term psychologists use to describe how confident you feel in your ability to control your actions and shape the outcome in your life. If you doubt that you'll take the consistent actions needed to succeed at something, you're clearly less likely to ever begin. If you are willing to act but you don't believe your actions will make real progress, and achieve the outcome you're after, you're also less likely to begin. Looking back to the last year of your life, were there, were there times you didn't chase your dreams because you didn't believe you'd work hard enough to achieve them, or if you didn't work hard, your efforts wouldn't bear fruit. That belief decimates your dreams. So in thinking of any new challenge, it's important for you to feel sure that you are in control of your destiny. What example can you recall to remind yourself that your hard work and effort pays off? Social support and connection. Will people support you and provide direction and cheerleading when you attempt something new? And will you be able to create meaningful relationships along the way? We all want to feel safe and assisted when we try new things. And we also want to feel as though our risks are going to be recognized and rewarded socially. That's why it's so important to think through how you can be supported when you start a new learning journey or challenge. Want to learn to run a marathon? Get around other people trying to do the same thing. Do you let your social network know about the goals and achievements that excite you? How can you leverage your social circle or a new group of people to help you stay motivated at doing something new? Motivation Academy Squad. Bandwidth belief. What unimportant activities are you spending too much time on? which could be better utilized to try meaningful new things. Resource availability. Will you have the resources you'll need to successfully accomplish this goal? 
one of the most convenient excuses we use in not being and not beginning a new task or activity is that we don't have what we need to succeed consider the number of people who want to start their own business the rationale the rationally you hear from them for not beginning is usually one or more of the following no time equipment product systems computer website staff money and so on of course these are important considerations in choosing what to do or not to do in your life the challenge as with all the indicators mentioned above is that we often make these evaluations unconsciously what resources would you need in order to take on the new goal or challenges challenge that that you feel passionate about autonomy this indicator often explains why a lot of people in the work world won't volunteer for new projects it asks will i be given the trust and decision making authority i need to feel as tough as though i'm in control and able to make things happen if you feel that you have to get permission at every decision point and that you are constantly being doubted and given the turnaround you simply won't be motivated to play the game in the first place equally important is the fact that you won't feel ownership over your work if you have to get approval every step of the way and therefore you'll be less invested in the outcome who can who can you get permission and support from to go try something new how can you position yourself to have more decision making authority authority and freedom when taking on your next challenge set a real challenge plan for success and get a coach get a coach that's very important are you at the same level of skill and mastery in any important areas of your life that you were at 3 years ago in other words are there any meaningful areas of your life where you don't feel you've grown i believe that if you are committed to growth in your life then you've got to truly focus on growth and that happens only by purposefully choosing new challenges that develop your competency in the areas of your life that you care about let's do that now it's time for you to choose a few real observable and time bound challenges that will advance your life first let's define those terms a real challenge is one that involves a stretch goal it won't be easy to accomplish if you're looking for easy you may as well you may as well you may as well stop here and go back to the mundane life an observable challenge means that means that we can have another person watch your performance throughout the challenge that person needs to have a view into your performance from beginning to end whether you have certain checks in along the way and the observer is literally by your side or on the sidelines the entire time finally you need a time bound challenge one that has definite starting and ending points most people are running from challenges in their life not chasing them I highly recommend that you develop short-term challenges. I encourage my clients to choose 60-day challenges, forcing them to try to learn new things and improve in an incredibly short time span. This keeps them engaged and excited to see short-term growth. Of course, it's important to plan to plan for long-term skills development, but nothing is more exciting than a short-term challenge. So be sure to set those up along your path. Ease out, rise and shine, live your dreams, live your big story. Do something every day in the direction of good. I'm out.